Hey, oh, it's Omni Dog from Omni Dog's Vault on YouTube, Omni Dog's underscore Vault on Instagram, and I have a Discord, Omni Dog's Vault Discord. So we're going to take a look at the long rumored, oft doubted, never to be released, we thought, but here it is Eternal Warrior Classic Omnibus Volume 1 from Valiant. Um, it's it's now under the imprint Alien Books. I okay, I guess they're publishing the Valiant titles. Not really sure. Um, I remember this. There's a, these are the classic books from the early '90s. Um, I remember really liking the uh, early Valiant books back then. I I found them a lot of fun. Uh, the only other. Omni I have of that time period though I know there are others I only have the Archer and Armstrong one um, so I was excited to get this because I, I recall Eternal Warrior as being a, an enjoyable read um, this this is a little uh, Jim Shooter Barry Windsor Smith is the first two that's a little misleading um, Jim Shooter wrote a handful of the first issues Barry Windsor Smith that does whatever Archer and Armstrong crosses over into into this, but we'll take a look at it here in just a sec. It is one of those flat spine books. It doesn't bother me, but just so you know, it is flat spined. And then you've got this back here, which tells you everything it's got from 92 to 93 along with 20 pages of rarely seen art and extras uh the idea of the eternal warrior if you're not familiar for a thousand generation galad anipada has defended the innocent and dealt out justice as the eternal warrior the undying champion of the geomancers the earth's chosen fist and steel an unsung veteran of every war ever waged Gilad's hard-fought quest from the ancient world to the modern day will force him to the forefront of the Valiant universe. What I'd really like is a collected book of Magnus Robot Fighter. I remember that was really good. And Harbinger, the original Harbinger, that, that may already have been released. As I said, I don't have... Um, I don't have... Uh, many of uh, those books but i do remember liking them a lot so let's take a look at this and we have this is interesting they've got a mapped out because all those valiant books back then eventually ended up weaving in and out of each other they had uh, events and things and, and they had tie-ins to each other so they were trying to create a a tight knit valiant universe. Um, so this has the time and space storyline. There will be another time, the root of the problem. And so this will this gives you an idea of the, of the mapping. Secret weapons is part of uh, this run. Valiant era companion. Eternal Warriors, Archer, and Armstrong. So it does mix in. Secret Weapons is over in here, too. So it does work in other titles into this. Uh, but that's... There There are no page numbers here or on the pages. So that's... And here are the credits. But one thing that we do have that's working in our favor is that you do have issues uh, cover covers sorry covers that um, serve as, as breaks so here this is written by Jim Shooter this is the Unity event, Chapter 2, but it's Eternal Warrior, Number 1. So this paper is not glossy. Um, but it's not, not exactly matte either. Uh, let's see. Now, it's fairly thick. I mean, you can't 
This is not see-through paper, so that's one thing. There's a, there's a lot of good substance to it. Um, it's not matte, but it is smooth. I'm sure somebody out there knows what this is called. Um, these are what the colors look like on this paper. And the art... Okay, so this is okay, this is was the Unity event. I remember this now, like Magnus, Robot Hunter, and uh, Exo Man of War. There's oh Doctor Solar. That's what I meant, not Magnus. But Doctor Solar was good too. Doctor Solar, Man of the Atom. That was really that was some good stuff. So the the colors look uh, good, but they it definitely looks like perhaps if there was um, better maybe better paper or uh, I usually don't like colors to be redone, and I doubt that they would undertake that see here's a, a good break right here with and then you have credits up here for everything but i feel like if if there's one thing that it suffers from is that well there's barry windsor smith art no is it yeah eternal warrior master dark mm. So it looks like there's the colors don't really they, they seem a little muted to me. I'm wondering if maybe a higher quality paper perhaps would make it look better. Uh I I highly doubt that something like this would sell enough copies to justify a, a complete recoloring. So you'd need to figure out a different way, but it's a, it's a good enough presentation for me that I'm not bothered by it, but I, I did pick up on, they do feel a little muted or, or dull or washed out, but that's not going to stop me from enjoying the story little washed out color i mean and it's not it's not like it's bleeding right off the page no this is barry windsor smith art you recognize those noses anywhere well there are two issues Oh, yeah, Archer and Armstrong, Eternal Warrior, number eight. Uh, yeah, I remember Master Dark, and I remember that being a, a pretty darn good uh, story arc. Because some of these things, like Shadow Man and stuff, they got fairly dark in tone, not art. Covered by Mark Moretti and Jimmy Palmiotti. A young Jimmy Palmiotti. So, this had an explosive beginning, like all those Valiant books. And... They sort of all petered out, I think, eventually when they started running into some financial trouble. But then I think they got it picked up by Acclaim Video Games. And some of their, some of their stories got turned into video games. Well, I definitely know, 
wait, I wonder if Turok was part of that, because Turok was a N64 game that I played. So Rai is in this. Archer and Armstrong, yeah. So there are other geomancers in here. Yeah, I I remember I had a fondness for these books enough so that I would like to pick up whatever else has been released, but I have a feeling I may have missed my chance. On something like Bloodshot. Oh, did I say Rye? I think that was Bloodshot back there. <laughs> Wherever I just said Rye, that was Bloodshot. I just realized my mistake. Um, so we're fortunate that this, for those of us who are interested in this, we're fortunate that Alien Books... Uh, put this out and so I am extremely pleased with the chance to go ahead and um, yeah this is bloodshot let's see yeah, the coloring just looks a, a little the, the art seems fine, but the coloring can't really pick up what, what it is that's uh, gnawing at me, but it seems a little dull. But otherwise, it's fine. Maybe this is just how they were colored back then. And let's see what we have for extras. Warrior Yearbook. I'm jealous. Okay. Okay, so here are the extras. Eternal Warrior One, cover art by Frank Miller. Hmm. Did he forget to turn in as an assignment, or is this a conceptual piece? What What are we talking about there? Hmm. That's a cool cover. Uh, now I like seeing interesting stuff like this. So this is cool. Okay. So there's Eternal Warrior. <clears throat> For your consideration. And please remember to go to Organic Price Books. Use my code. $2 off with code OmniDog. 5% off shipping four or more books together with code OmniDog. Sit or OmniDog ship it together. So this is OmniDog saying peace and love. Thank you for watching. Please uh, hit the like button. Hit the notification button. If you've subscribed, please subscribe. Feel free to comment. 
send in uh, your requests for overviews if i can get my hands on the books i'll give it a, sh a shot and i will be continuing to review books as uh, the months and days and years go on so peace and love peace and love uh, appreciate everybody watching this thank you so much peace and love peace and love